Hello lovely humans, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys? So today I am back with some more Owl House. Um, and I know you guys are probably thinking, well, it's Saturday, why aren't you doing an amphibia video? Please, 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 please let me explain before you guys get mad at me. I am very behind on the Owl House, and I really want to stay up to date with it as it airs. Also, because I'm working on a live stream with my friend Steven where we talk about the episodes, so I really need to catch up. So my next two videos just for this week are going to be Owl House based, because I am a little behind. But I do want to talk to you guys about my schedule going forward, just so we can be clear and on the same page. Amphibia videos starting not this Saturday, but next Saturday will always be posted on Saturdays. So you can always expect Amphibia on Saturdays uh, starting with next week. Also, Catch Teeny Ping, I'm still going to try to do Catch Teeny Ping episodes. My plan is probably going to be Owl House Mondays, Catch Teeny Ping Wednesdays as a cute little middle of the week break, and then ending the week week with Saturday Amphibia videos. It just kind of works out perfectly with how the Owl House is airing since it's something that's current. So that will be my schedule going forward and I will be sticking to it. But for now, I'm just catching up on some Owl House. This episode is called Elsewhere and Elsewhere? Wait, no, Elsewhere and Else When. And apparently this one has a lot of lore, so I am very, very excited. But first, for my kawaii items of the day, the first is not an item. I wanna show you guys a beauty trend that I'm obsessed with. I don't know if you've noticed, but I am wearing face glitter. Okay, do you see? I literally bought face glitter at CVS. Um, I was just, I saw it and I was like, I wanna buy it. And the first one I bought was this sparkly pink one. That's not what I'm wearing right now. But um, it's by this brand called Pop Arazzi. And it looks like this. And this one is called Rose. The one that I'm wearing now is, um, well anyway, I went back to CVS because I loved it so much that I bought every color. So you guys might see me rocking some glitter eyes more often than not in these videos. I just feel like a fairy, like I feel like a real fairy and that's always been my dream, like my whole life to be a fairy. And the glitter just makes me happy. So I have four different colors. This one is just simply called Rose. Um, the second one I got, which I'm wearing today, is called Venus, and it's this really cool silvery one. There's actually like little tiny stars in it, if you look really close. And this blue one is called Splash. So I got this one. Focus! Focus! And I also got a gold, which is called Starstruck. So I'm having a lot of fun over here, guys. I feel pretty magical, but I still want to show you an actual kawaii item. This is another blind box character from my favorite blind box brand I've ever seen so far, minus the Sanrio stuff. This brand is called Kimmy and Miki, and they're these really adorable little girl characters. Literally my favorite blind box brand because every single character is so cute, and this one is mermaid themed, like it's ocean themed. They're all under the sea. So the one that I have in here that I got is Kimmy Sea Anemone. And look at her, she has bare feet. She's walking around on the sand. Look at that little face. Don't even tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. This reminds me of like a little girl and it's like her first time at the beach. And look at her holding the little fishy. Isn't she so darling? I'm literally obsessed. I'm obsessed. So um, yes, I wanna start showing you guys my Kimmy and Mickey's. I love them. It's such a cute brand of blind box characters if you guys are interested. All right, let's start this episode, shall we? Oh, another announcement really quick. The kitty ear um, headphones are back. I repeat, the kitty ear headphones are back. I missed them. They still work well, and they kind of like feel a little more comfortable with my earrings, so I'm going back to them. All right, without further ado, let's play the episode. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, Lou still has that creepy zombie hamster. Okay, so she's still trying to figure out what's going on with the portal. Hootie, what are you doing? Oh, Lilith! Lilith looks so cool with the glasses. I like her glasses. What are they celebrating? Oh, she owns the museum now, or she's the curator, I guess? That's cool, okay. Okay, that looks absolutely disgusting, Hootie. What are you doing? That's, ew, 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 ew. Gross, Hootie, calm down. Oh my goodness. What was that? Who is this? Another new character? Bookworm. Oh, did she used to teach Lilith? Huh. 
She's a little intimidating, this lady. Whoa. Damn, that whip is strong. Oh, that's her, that's how she gets around? By riding, is that like a pigeon griffin? Interesting. Lilith. Lilith looks different. Her hair is different, right? Or something. It's definitely different. Okay, is this like Lilith's ri uh, rival? That's what I feel. It's her rival. Oh, Luce, congrats on your new job. <laughs> oh, Luce, you innocent little cinnamon roll. I love you. So innocent. Elsewhere and elsewhen. There he is. Hmm. Titan's blood. That's definitely a portal ingredient. Oh, he needs to see the collector to find out what he needs. Okay. Okay, interesting. Are we gonna, we're finally learning about the collector. That's exciting. Huh. What kind of jerk puts the in front of their name? Was that a joke about the Owl House since it's called the Owl House? Cause that's so freaking meta and hilarious. <laughs> Ida, I've got a leg like, hair older than you. Oh, Ida. It is so confident. Like, when I'm older, I want to be as confident and badass as Ida. Ooh, time pools. Is she gonna go back in time and find out about this guy? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I hope so. Let's exhibit. Oh, Lilith. <laughs> Lilith looks so cute with the glasses. I don't know, I'm kind of obsessed. I love it. Her outfit looks cool too. She has a different look. I like it a lot. All right, Lilith, you gotta calm down though. Uh -huh. Cool, Aunt Lilith. Aw. She is cool. I love her new look so much. Oh, she knows about the time pools. Is Lilith gonna make them? That's super exciting if so. Oh, they found them before? So Ida has found these time pools with Lilith. Is that bird Lilith's pet? I don't remember that bird before. <gasps> okay, they're gonna use the Titan blood. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I like this music. I love it. Very whimsical. Sounds very, sounds like witchy music. Witch music. So are they, they're gonna make a time pool? Damn, she is like. What is that? Wrinkly oaks? Hmm. So she thinks there's like a time pool near here. I like seeing Luce and Ida um, teaming up. This is pretty awesome. Okay, that's literally an ocean. <laughs> All right, you don't take the sands, Lilith, it's okay. Whoa, the portal's below them in the sand? Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh no, I don't wanna go in there. That's intimidating as hell. Oh, it's Monster World, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass on that. I'll pass on Monster World. Oh, Lilith, you're so hard on yourself, girl. I get it. I know what it's like to be a perfectionist and to put way too much pressure on yourself, which is something I'm trying so hard to learn not to do. So, honestly, whoa. What kind of world is that under there? Is it the same world again, or? What? Who are these guys? <laughs> Whoa, okay. Oh, so there's a bunch of different ones depending on where you put your head in the sand. That's crazy. That's crazy. What are they looking, well, she's trying to find little babies, bro. They're trying to find Philip Winnebane, right? So, uh, oh, this is his time, she found it. Wait, but what happens if Luce jumps all the way in? Is she, how did they get back out? <laughs> oh, Lilith, you're so cute. These are the 
oldest particles I've ever had in my head. She's such a history dork. I love it. I love that this season is showing Lilith's like nerdy side because she she kind of like went back to her real self. Like in the first season, since she was so, you know, evil and we didn't know yet about like, you know, the whole history between her and Ida and now she and Ida have like kind of made amends, you know? It's really cute that she kind of is like going back to like her original self as we've seen in the flashbacks. She's always been like the the nerdy one and I love that we're seeing that side of Lilith. I think it's a much cuter side of her than um, how she was first introduced in the show. So I love, love, love that development. Bogey down to history town. Oh my goodness, Lilith. Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh, it's her mom! Hi, Ida's mom. Her father? Her father? Oh my gosh! Hey, Ida's dad! Oh, King! I get to meet my grandpa! King, I love you. Look at his little birthday hat still on his horn. I want my King plushie. I want my King plushie. I need to order it, guys. You can yell at me in the next video if I don't order my King plush. I already regret saying that, but, because now you're all gonna yell at me, but. I'll order it, I promise. Okay, so they're going undercover. This is before he banished Wild Magic, so. Oh, he seems nice. That's not very intimidating. Whoa. It's like a medieval time time period. An abomination! Even little babies could do magic. That's adorable. Look at the flower crown she put on him. Why did he want to banish wild magic? Bellows, what's wrong with you? It'd be great to just be born and be able to do magic. I want to do that. I would literally create myself a pet Pegasus unicorn right now. And she would be in every video with me. And I would just like pet her and cuddle with her while we watch cartoons. No, I'm sad that doesn't actually exist. Who's he? She's just gonna ask everybody about him? <laughs> Whoa, okay. It's an inter interesting character. Oh my gosh, is that him? That's him! That's him. Oh my gosh. There he is. He has blue eyes. So does Bellows. I'm not making any assumptions, but so does Bellows. That's all I'm saying. I don't think he's Bellows, but he has blue eyes like Bellows. So they're, they're making fun of him. Ooh. Whoa. Luz! Is Luz going to change history? Is Luz literally going to change history right now? Because I will lose my mind. Sharpening my tooth. What are you doing, Nita? I mean... Mm. Mm hmm? They're gonna talk about what happened with the dad? With his eye? Do you guys remember? I am like, this episode's already so good. I'm so pumped. I can't wait to see what we find out. Hootie! I guess Hootie's talking to... Oh, he has a scar on his eye. Okay. This is intense. How could this even work if this was in the past, though? Like, how can Luz interfere with it? Hmm. Oh, I feel bad for him. Oh, wow. Wait, that looked a lot like Hunter up in the corner. Did you see that up in the corner of that picture that looked like Hunter? Hmm, he speaks so properly. Oh my goodness. He should be on Bridgerton. <laughs> I've been watching Bridgerton lately, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Guilty pleasure. <laughs> I've been watching it, okay? And I've been noticing that, like, my texts to people have been becoming so much more proper since I've been watching it. Made up a story, okay. They're going with him to find the collector. This is pretty intense. I like his voice actor a lot. It's very pleasant to listen to. Oh, so he does use glyphs. Oh, <laughs> my dude, Luce. They have that in common. Wow. Luce and Philip did the same thing, kind of. 
<laughs> this is pretty cool. Wow, he just wanders the world and is like journaling everything he finds. He seems nice. But I don't know, I don't trust much in this show. What are you doing, Philip? He's pretty cool. Okay, what's he gonna do? What magic is this? Whoa! Whoa! That's impressive. He knows how to get to the collector? Are you kidding? You know, are you kidding me? Are you serious? You really think she's gonna think you're Lilith? This is like the worst costume ever. <laughs> oh my God. Her mom. <laughs> Just let her have this, King, I love you. Ida, yeah, that totally worked, Ida. Good job, totally worked, totally worked. That's her dad. Oh my God. Oh my God. His palisman is a cute little yellow birdie. Talk to your dad, Ida. Oh my goodness! Are we gonna meet the collector? I'm freaking out, guys. I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Oh, that's scary. That's scary. They're in a titan head? Wait, that's a titan head? Titans are that big? I mean, I'm not surprised, but holy. Holy crap. Oh, okay. Oh, he's behind the door. You have to open the door somehow. Hmm. I mean, I doubt they're gonna figure out how to open it in this episode. I would be very surprised, but that would be so freaking epic. I think they were destined to meet. This is so interesting. Ooh, another, another puzzle door. So many puzzle doors in these cartoons. The last episode of Amphibia had one. See the Universe had one. Hmm, she doesn't trust him. Lilith doesn't trust him. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know, is this not good? I can't tell if this is good or not. This might not be good. What's he talking about? Beast behind the door? Oh, mm. uh, be careful. Sacrifice? Oh my God! Oh. My. God. Philip, you horrible person! I liked you! I do like your voice. It's very, very pleasant and calming to listen to. And I like your character design too, but you're a jerk. Lilith! Oh my god. Is that a titan? That- no, that can't be a titan. That's a different monster because they're inside of a titan head. Damn, Luz! Hell yeah! So badass. She's so brave now with her powers. I freaking love it. Philip, he just, he's in it for the research, that's it. He'll play dirty if he has to. Whoa, Luz, nice distraction. What is that? That's the other thing he needs for the portal. Where's the collector? Damn. He didn't believe, he knew they were lying the whole time. My goodness, he's smart and also kind of scary. That was such a twist. Oh, I'm just glad Lilith's okay, I would've cried. <laughs> well, it's like, eh, not really. Lewis, what are you gonna do? You're way too brave. You're way too brave for your own good. Sleeper. How did she know that? Oh, because she was, oh, Lilith taught her that. Philip, you are, I don't know how I feel about you. Uh-oh. That thing wants it back. Ooh, damn. Haha, <laughs> you're cornered now, Philip. Hmm? Mm. He's a 
future. <gasps> yes! Damn, Lilith! Damn, Lilith. Now I see why you and Ida are sisters. It's in the blood. I love this side of Lilith so much. Oh. What are they gonna do? Ha ha, Ballisters, oh, Lilith is such a cute dork, I love her. She's talking to her dad. Shaking so much. Oh. Oh, so he used to make palismen, and now he can't do that anymore. Oh, her dad is so cute, and he's so majestic. He carved Albert with her. Oh my God, Ida. Oh. Fix the relationship with your dad. I know it's hard. I know that could be hard, but that's so... Oh. Mm. Nerd quest. I can't believe they found him too. <laughs> he sucked. I punched him in the face. I love you, Lilith and Lilith. <laughs> Ida. You guys need to stop. No, I love it. I love that they're bonding and having fun. Aunt and niece time. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Ooh, does Philip hate witches? Is this like, what is he trying to do? What the? Why does he have those on his arm? Yep. Yep. There we go. So the collector is gonna help him. Damn. Oh my gosh. So it's proven. Philip is, like a lot of theories have said, he is absorbing magic to stay alive. Um, lots of similarities to Bellows. I don't know if he is Bellows or a relative, but lots of similarities. Um, very interesting. I can't believe how much that episode gave us. I thought like, I don't know, I felt like that was a really crazy twist I wasn't expecting and I loved that. I also loved the character development for both Ida and Lilith. I love their sister journey. I feel like each season, um, their like softening and learning more about themselves and like bonding. I love that their family isn't perfect and they have to kind of like mend all those relationships. But like, what do you guys think about Philip? What are your theories? I don't even know right now. I'm still kind of like digesting everything, but that was a really, really exciting episode. And um, I do want to see more Luz and Lilith. I love them together. And um, we got to meet Ida's father. It was just all around a really cool episode. And I really want to know more about the Titans and who this mysterious collector is. This collector character sounds so cool. So I will see you guys next time um, with the next episode and sending love to all of you. Stay lovely, lovely humans and um, see you guys later. Bye!